Merry Christmas, everyone. Saturday evening, we had planned to do a live nativity that we would video and present to you on Christmas Day. But in the past week, we've had more rain than we had had for the past six months. And so it has been a muddy mess around here. And we had to cancel the live nativity because the live nativity they were supposed to drive down to the barn. It was a drive-by live nativity. We started that during COVID and it worked so good that we thought, you know what, let's do that every year. And we hand out hot chocolate and let people drive by and see the nativity. But this year it got rained out because there was no way people could drive down to the barn without us getting lots of people stuck. And so we, we did just hand out hot chocolate in front of the house last night for anyone that drove by and that was that was awesome i'm gonna feed the horses this morning and then we're gonna show you a couple of our past nativities it'll be fun to bring back some memories of when blake and casey were a little younger and some of the neighbors that have helped us through the years because the truth is as you're watching this you probably have already opened a bunch of presents that may have come from Santa Claus. And we even came, or we had our friend come this year and uh, we had Santa Claus come for the grandkids and it was awesome. Rudolph, joining any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in his story. That's always a fun part, but even if Santa Claus hadn't brought anything or even if you're in a situation somewhere in the world that you don't celebrate Christmas the greatest gift has already been given and that's the gift that Jesus Christ came to the world that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son and now we need to believe in him follow him trust in him that's the greatest gift is that jesus christ came to this earth he lived a perfect life he died for our sins and then he overcame death as he was resurrected we too will be resurrected someday and will be able to return to him that's the greatest gift so regardless of whatever you might have received from santa claus doesn't even doesn't even compare with the greatest gift which is the gift of jesus christ so merry christmas everyone we hope you enjoy these past nativities thank you rooster they're ready for me to feed them i'll show you a little bit of the mud and then it, all, it looks like it snowed around here because there was so much moisture in the air that last night when the clouds finally cleared off it froze and it looks like we have snow everywhere but anyway merry christmas guys and i'll take you to feed for a minute and then let's go watch some of the past nativities that we've done and we hope you enjoy blake we love you we're proud of you and as you watch blake playing joseph in one of these videos isn't it cool that now instead of leading in a donkey to bring in <laughs> Mary. Hey. Now he's riding a bike to bring Jesus to those that he teaches. And so, pretty awesome. Love you guys. Merry Christmas. God bless.
snowed out here from all the frost. in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, 